Hello everyone. On this Veterans Day, November 11th, 2020, and every day, Santa Fe College salutes and honors our veterans. We cherish and value veterans throughout our institution and the nation. It is part of the fabric of who we are. We deeply appreciate the sacrifices you have made and your unwavering devotion to our country. Thank you for boldly answering the call of duty and serving with courage and commitment. We celebrate your strength, loyalty, and dedication, and we honor you for giving selflessly of yourselves. Just as you are unwavering in your commitment to our country, we are unwavering in our commitment to serve you. Santa Fe College has a strong tradition of supporting and honoring veterans. We earn the military friendly and the best for vets college designations because we know you deserve nothing but the best. Our college is fortunate to have a strong military community that adds immensely to the life and vitality of the college. Our commitment to our veterans is ingrained in the fiber of the college and permeates throughout our institution. To our veterans throughout the nation, Santa Fe College thanks you on this Veterans Day and every day. We honor you for all that you have done for us and our nation. Well, I'm a college dropout and I wanted to do something different and enlisted Army Special Forces. And um, when I came back to the University of Florida to get my degree, I missed it. I miss working with people I could trust and depend on and from all different kinds of aspects of life. Uh, but I, I missed it. I missed that camaraderie, that confidence you have with others. And so as a result, I decided that I was going to go to ROTC and go back into service. And I thought I'd do a couple of years and then come back and go to grad school. But I kept getting excite, assignments that were interesting, um, educational, and challenging. And so we stayed for almost 40 years. So when my wife and I retired and came back to our hometown, we got to thinking about what can we do for young veterans uh, during that transition period. And we decided to start a scholarship program. I think it's instrumental with the success that Santa Fe has had with both the number of veterans that come to this school and the number that finish the program here instead of dropping out. Uh, we've been doing the veteran scholarship program now for about 10 years, over 150 scholarships had one dropout. So from Santa Fe's point of view, on a, on a business uh, foundation, that's good business for them. Also, these veterans bring in a degree of maturity and experience that really helps the student body, and the professors like that also. So it's, it's, it's a win-win as you go around that. My personal experience was uh, from being a college dropout. When I came back to the University of Florida, I probably studied half the time I did before, made twice the growth. And so suddenly, instead of being on academic probation, I was making a dean's list every time. And again, it's what you said earlier, it's that focus, that determination, uh, and I'm going to do this. Stop by this office right here, talk to the counselors here in the Veteran Service Office. It's an easy process. They can explain the whole thing, both the academic side, but also the transition side. And there's somebody you can talk to there who's done it. And that makes a big difference. My name is Jessica Conceição Pallet. I served five years in the United States Marine Corps. The benefit of scholarships for veterans, such as the Bridge Scholarship, is that it provides us an extra incentive and assistance and guidance for our future in whatever career that we choose after having been in the Marine Corps. I, th I think the other benefit of having a scholarship available for veterans is not everybody is financially ready for the next step after they get out of the military. After serving, the Bridge Scholarship just gives us that extra. So if you're not fully prepared financially and you need that f financial assistance, whether it's books or housing or if you can branch that out in other areas of your life. You get out of the military and you don't always come out just solo one individual. You, there's many people that come out with families and now they've got to figure out how 
they're going to provide for their family, yet still make the moves for now from going from a military career into transitioning into a civilian sector career. So these benefits help support not only the veteran, but help support their families in making sure that they have a smooth transition from the military to the civilian sector. Uh, my name is Don Sherry, and uh, I'm the past commander of the uh, Korean War Veterans Association, the General Van Fleet Chapter 267 of Gainesville, Florida. I'm also the past commander of the American Legion Post 16 here in town. And uh, I served during the Korean War and the uh, Vietnam War. I served for 11 years in the United States Air Force. Highest grade was staff sergeant. I was a personnel sergeant. I had a personal reason. I joined because I wanted to go to college. And there were no Pell Grants or any of the other federal assistance programs back in the 50s that we have today. So the only way you could go to college would be to join the service, do your three or four years, and then you'd be entitled to get your college expenses paid when you got out. That's another reason why I've been volunteering over here at Santa Fe College to help the uh, Bridge Scholarship Foundation for the GI Bill students that come back. And we've helped to develop seven different new scholarships for them in the past three or four years working under the tutelage of uh, Lieutenant General John Lemoyne, who's in charge of that program. Good afternoon. My name is Forrest Hope. I'm a uh, Marine Corps veteran from 1968, or 65 through 68. Spent most of my time in Vietnam. And uh, whenever we came back from Vietnam, all the soldiers, Marines and sailors and airmen, they were treated pretty badly because it came from a, uh, we went out as a, as a patriotic duty, but whenever it came back, uh, politics had taken over. And uh, the mood of the country was is that uh, we shouldn't be there, which probably is right now, but it, it was all taken out on the individual servicemen that went. So that whenever we came back, we were treated poorly. So Vietnam Veterans of America was formed, and their motto is that uh, never again will one generation of veterans abandon another. And that's what we feel is that uh, veterans returning now, they need all the help that they can get. The, uh, the scholarships that, that we take and have enable the veteran to get from point A to point B, waiting on his money to come in from his GI Bill, and it helps them uh, overcome that gap. So if you're out there and you'd like to participate and help out on uh, the veterans and scholarships, there's plenty to choose from. Uh, we appreciate your help. We salute you and thank you for your service.